What is going on, Multiversers? Welcome back to the channel. We got a little bit of important... I mean, I guess this isn't little, but we got some important news to go over about Multiverses. Uh, I have covered these topics uh, already a few months ago, but there has been a huge tidal wave of new players and people who are very, very interested in Multiverses, and they haven't seen this information yet. And I kind of wanted to go over this uh, quickly because I get, I've been getting these questions and all these confusing comments over the past couple weeks, right? So the first topic we're gonna talk about is pay to win. And this game is not pay to win. I repeat, not pay to win. So there's been confusion that uh, this game has a battle pass. Well, that's not the confusing part because this game does have a battle pass, but people are thinking, that they're gonna throw characters on the battle pass. And if you don't buy the battle pass, you're gonna miss out on the character, right? That is not the case. We prom I can promise you that Tony's told us this numerous times. There's no character, there's no paid advantage in any way. Any Everything gameplay related can simply be earned by playing the game. So here's Tony's uh, tweet that he was replying to somebody with. Anything that gives powers like perks can only be earned by playing the game. They cannot be purchased. So perks, that's fantastic. Uh, the way to get perks is uh, you level up characters, you take that gold. Once a character reaches level nine, again, unless this changes and they up the level to something else. But once you get a character to level nine, they unlock a training perk thing where you can spend a little bit of gold and you can buy yourself uh, a new perk, whatever one you want. You literally get free uh, choice of whatever one you want to buy. So getting perks can only be obtained by simply playing the game. And continuing on, no advantage for not paying. All characters can be earned by playing the game. Or you can purchase them to get them sooner. What he means by purchase here is every character that comes into the game. So here's how it worked in the alpha, if you don't know. There were a few characters that were locked. Uh, Batman, Superman, I believe Garnet, um, Arya, was there one more? I think there's one more. There's a few characters that were locked right at the beginning. And how did you earn these? How did you unlock these characters? You simply use the in-game currency, the gold. That's not what you will spend real money on. No, 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 that will be a different currency. So the in-game currency, gold, is what you use to unlock characters. And how do you get the gold? It's very simple. You play games, finish challenges, level up characters, and you'll earn gold through the battle pass as well. So you get the in-game currency relatively easy. I can tell you within the first two days of me playing this, of the closed alpha, I had over 6,000 gold, and each character cost 2,000 gold to unlock. So within the first two days of me playing, I've already unlocked two characters. Like, it was not grindy in the slightest for me. I can, that, that's my honest opinion, not grindy. It will come just naturally. Before you realize it, you'll have another 2000 gold. Boom, go buy another character, or unlock the next character that you want. And that's how it will be for characters coming into the game in the future. Just use that gold. So once you unlock all the characters, kind of build up your collection of gold. Make sure you save 2000 gold in case the next character that comes out and you really want them, you want to get them immediately. Oh, you got your 2000 gold. Boom, unlocked immediately, you can play as them right away. Or it looks like Tony says you can purchase them to get them sooner. What he means by that is more, there's probably gonna be an option where you can spend real money if you don't have the gold to just have the character unlocked immediately. I mean, that, that, that hurts absolutely nobody. It benefits player first game, you're like supporting them because why not at this point? Like, who doesn't want to support player first games? This game is absolutely amazing. So support the devs. Definitely do do it if you are able to. So there's no advantage for not paying is what he's getting to. All right. The next one that we need to talk about uh, that's been sort of confusing some people since, again, it has to do with the battle pass type of thing. Some people are believing that the battle pass is the only form of content that will be in the game. So like, do we have to wait three, four months for the battle pass to kind of that season to end to get a new battle pass to see what else is new? Luckily, no. Here's here's Tony again saying, he's answered a question here. Yep, we'll have constant updates with new skins, characters, modes, and maps. So it's not just like, a, all right, hey, the, se the new season's beginning. Let's check out the battle pass. And then that's kind of like, oh, that's all you get. No, there's going to be constant new things. We don't know 
exact time frame of is it once a week there's something new is it every other week is it who knows at this point i'm sure they will figure that out in uh in due time right they'll figure that stuff out but uh there is gonna be content that will constantly be coming into the game that's not just battle pass related so that's always good news to hear so yeah you don't got to worry about that there, there's plenty of stuff coming that won't that won't just be a part of the base game or a battle pass and last comment or topic that we will discuss has to do with the most recent uh, battle pass the, from the closed alpha again. Wow, we talked about that a lot in this video. But there's been s some confusion about some people believe that uh, you actually get to keep everything you unlocked. But uh, then there's also people saying you, you keep absolutely nothing. Well, the truth, the real answer is only two permanent items. I believe it was tier 29 and tier 30. And what are they? It was like a Taz player banner and then like a, a, a profile icon, I believe. So it's like two things. Again, it's no characters, no costumes, no, nothing like that. So you don't miss out on, you know, much. It's just like this is just a cool little reward for people that were able to get into the alpha. So you're not missing out on much. Uh, I promise you that. So like uh, I, I fully unlocked the entire battle pass for uh, the closed alpha. So tier 50 had the Samurai Batman skin and the Cake Jake uh, skin. Those were tier 50. I don't keep those. You guys that did not get into this battle pass, you're not missing out on those either. Almost more than likely, unless they want to change how some of these skins or what, how you unlock them, I suppose. But almost guaranteed once the open beta starts, that's what will be tier 50 again. So you're not missing out just because you didn't get into the closed alpha. You didn't miss out on these skins. They are still coming into the game. So just wanted to kind of clear some of those things up. Hopefully this video was helpful to some of the newer players. But uh, yeah, that is uh, that's pretty much going to be it for this one. I do hope you guys enjoyed. Hopefully this was informative as well. But um, oh, for anybody watching this far in the video and that is interested in the yay or nay series, that will be returning tomorrow with a brand new character and the updated year and a stats as well. So that's tomorrow. But today is today. Today's wrapping up. I hope you guys enjoyed. And I guess I'll see you when I'm looking at you.